Hey everybody, welcome back to my world where no matter how old you get, you never need to grow up. And I'm so excited, I've been wanting to do this video for the longest time, but it's just been one of those couple of weeks. It's mermaids! So these are the latest dolls from MGA, who is just cranking out the dolls lately. And these are the mermaids mermaids. Gotta admit, not a fan of the name. Could have gone with a lot of other things. And this one is, who are you? You're really cool. This is Riviera, right? Yes, Riviera. So uh, the uh, promotional videos that were made for these the sponsored videos, Elvira from the Doll Circle got Riviera. It was a perfect match and I absolutely loved Elvira's look and her look at the doll. So I'm gonna link you to that because gosh knows I'm not gonna do as good a job. Cool thing about these dolls that is both a plus and a minus in a way is the packaging. So they have this look like they are swimming in the packaging, which is really, really cool. And also this part of the box, you see it's like a V shape is open so that the tail is exposed so that, you know, in the store you can do that and touch the tail and stuff. The downside to that is we have seen uh, some dolls, especially if you purchased them online, although some people did purchase them in a store, where the paint is uh, damaged because of the way this is open at the bottom. So, you know, just keep an eye out when you're buying them in the store. I did order mine on Amazon and I will put links down below to all of the mermaids, mermaids dolls. And here is the gang back here. Um, these are $32.99. Remember, if you do use that link, it's an affiliate link and I will get a little bit of money. Thank you so much. So this is our friend that we are going to, oh, is that, is that her? Yeah, that's her. She looks different on the back. So this is Riviera and I have, did I get all of them? Yeah, I think I got all of them. I don't remember right now, but anyway, it says on the back, mermaids beyond the waves, beneath the surf, into the deep blue, follow the fabulous fins of mermaids, mermaids to discover something amazing. It's a lot of maze going on with that. And these dolls also have color change tail technology. Now, some of the dolls, it's hot water and some of the daughters, do daughters, it's not my daughter. And some of the dolls, it's cold water. I think it was doll water. Yeah, I think that's where daughter came from. Um, and so we're gonna take a look at that. We're also going to assess the hair cause that looks like a lot of hair. That's a lot of hair. So I am going to take her out of the packaging and I guess we'll do that and talk cause we haven't done that in a while. We haven't done a, so these are for ages four and up. Again, these are an MGA product and I'm going to start to try to get Riviera out of, oh, it says pull here. Okay, I'm pulling. Okay, I pulled. Mm, okay, here we go. Yay! All right, so that opens up the bottom. Okay. Oh, and there's all our instructions. Her hair is getting caught in everything. I just need to say that. Just get out my frustration. Okay. This thing that was holding her in is this rope. It's like tucked down into her like pants thing. <laughs> like, how do I get this out without damaging the doll? What the heck did you do? Because her pants don't come off. They're part of her. Why would you do that? I guess I'm just gonna cut it. Am I missing something key here, people? Usually the answer is yes. Okay, her hair is making me nuts. Okay, her hair. It's gonna take off my bracelet because it's gonna forever be, it. oh no, 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 no. Okay, so I don't know if all of, no, not all of them have curly hair. So I think she's really, really cool because she's like totally rock and roll. But, oh my, I just have to like cut this now out of my bracelet. All right, but that hair, look at this hair. Now, this is a ton of very curly, lush hair. And I think from a kid's perspective, this is awesome. Like, this is so much hair. I mean, you could, you could put this on my head. This could cover my head. This is so much hair on a doll. This is almost like excessive hair, I think. I feel like this hair is excessive. Do you feel like this hair is, I 
cannot tell you when I'm not in the water. Oh gosh. And if I come out of the water and it's wet, I'm like, just like this for hours. Ugh. I used to have hair, not this long, but I used to have spiral perm hair down to my waist and yeah, wet, it weighed a ton. So it's two different colors. It kind of looks like purple cotton candy, but I mean, it's, it just gets stuck on her, her clothes, in my nails, everything. It's got these um, little black braids through it, which is really cool. Now I wanna be clear about something right now. I sound like I'm complaining. She's really cool. She's really freaking cool looking though. Like, I really dig her. I'm just the hair. Like once I get her like on a stand somewhere and she's just staying there, it'll be very cool. I might, I know I don't have enough room to pose her like this. So they do have articulation at the waist, which is cool because they're mermaids. So they can do little mermaidy poses like that. You know, she can go like this and then the tail, you see. So we've got the, oh, she's doing the wave. So they can do that. So it's a lot of fun. But the question is, if you're a parent, you're like, so is it a water toy? Well, it does have color change technology that changes color in water. Uh oh, I just pulled out her earring by accident. But the hair and the clothes, I mean, you definitely got to take these clothes off. I mean, this jacket can cannot go in water. <laughs> but it's so cool. So look at this. She's got this like holographic jacket with these spikes on it, right? Oh, come on camera, stop looking at me. Holographic jacket with spikes. It's such a cool jacket. It's so rock and roll. Her earrings, look at these gigantor safety pin earrings. And then on this side, she's just got these massive, it's like a rope, like a coiled rope or a whip. Um, I love the jacket. The jacket is so cool. Oh, she's not wearing nail polish. That's it. I don't love her anymore. And then she's got this really cool, look at this, mermaid. That's so, it's ACDC, right? It's an ACDC shirt. It's gorgeous. And then she's got this really cool belt with this like chain link situation going on. We've got like just a lot of like metal accents and black and silver. And, but then we're tying in the purpley blue kind of, and then her face. Now, from the minute I saw these dolls with these eyes, with these inset eyes, I will tell you what I thought of immediately. All right, she's a bit of a mess. She's the only one I could find. She was the only one I had handy. MC Squared Dolls, which was also made by MGA. So I think that the mermaids dolls are to some extent based on what they did with the MC Squared dolls in terms of the technology to make the inset eyes and everything. Although that this these two faces don't match, I'm sure I could go through a catalog of the MC Squared dolls. I might be able to find this face. These heads are bigger though than MC Squared dolls. Um, the arms feel thicker. One of my problems with the MC Squared dolls was that their limbs were very thick thin and bendy and the dolls themselves did not feel very substantial. That is also true of this. This tail, I'm pretty sure is, well, no, I'm absolutely sure now, is hollow. So you have the situation where um, the weight at the bottom is, she's way lighter from the waist down than she is from the waist up. So the opposite of me. And she's supposed to stand on her own. I'm still still wrangling with the hair. So here we go. Let's try it. Can you stand on your own? Are you kidding me with this hair? I'm just asking. So their tail is supposed to be, they're supposed to be able to stand on their own. I'm like going to try and balance her so that she can stand on her own. Don't fall over. Don't fall over. Now, she is standing on her own. Having said that, <clears throat> let me just get 
camera moving for a second. Don't touch the table because I don't want to knock her over. Okay, I'm behind the camera for a second. Are you ready? She's bending forward in order to stay up. So it's not like a really great look, honestly. Um, I'm definitely gonna put them on doll stands, but she is standing on her own. And that hair, man, that's a lot of hair. I mean, she's really cool looking. And I just love the rock and roll vibe, you know? Cause I'm a rocker. Yeah. Yeah. And then her tail, oh wait. It's, you know what, she hasn't fallen over. That's pretty impressive. I love her tail. Her tail of all the tails is my favorite. It's got this deep blue, really cool metallic blue. And then her tail just immediately makes me think of a Gene Simmons bass. Like, it's so heavy metal. I love that they like went with a theme for each doll and then really, really went for that theme. Now, this tail is supposed to change color. Let me check. Where's that paperwork I threw on the floor? I threw it on the floor. I think it's hot water. I'm gonna go fill up a Barbie color reveal tube with hot water, not warm, hot, because I've had some intel from watching other videos. The color change needs very extreme temperatures. I'll be right back. All right, so I'm reading, hello camera. I'm reading the instructions. It says, color changing tail, important notes. Get your pencils. Doll's tail will either color change in cold or warm water. One doll's tail will color change in both. Which doll is that? When inserting the tail in the water, try both temperatures. Color changing areas on the doll's tail will vary per doll. Collect them all. Color change reveal may take some time. Allow the doll's chair to sit in the water until it changes color. Remove the doll's clothes before inserting it into water. If submerging the doll in water, take note that their hair will not appear the same after it gets wet. And then uh, when you take them out of the water, stand them up so they can drain out their tail. Now I'm gonna go get hot water. Okay, so now I have some pretty warm water in this, in this little Barbie color reveal tube right here. And we have Riviera right here. And I'm just gonna kind of get her hair out of the way. I'm not taking your clothes off because I'm just gonna dunk her tail. So her hair gets caught in her own hands. All right, arms up, baby. Hands up, baby, hands up. Okay, here we go. We're going in, tail, meet water. One small logistical problem. Her oh. tail doesn't fit in a party color reveal tube. I'll be right back. <laughs> okay, we're gonna try a different approach. We have a bowl, okay? We have a Riviera that we cannot fit in the bowl, but we're gonna try, okay? And now we're gonna take hot water and, ooh! Oh, cool. Oh, look at her tail. That is way more color changey than I expected. Now let me pay attention and not just pour water all over that. Wow. Whoa, sorry, camera. The, oops, I'm dripping all over the desk. That is far more of a change than I expected. Did the back change? No. Um, does the back change? Let's see. Back does not seem to change. It just seems to be the front. And it's interesting because when you do it, the front kind of ends up looking almost like more denim-y, right? And then the tail, that that tail transformation is amazing. That is just, wow. That worked way better than I thought. And this, this water is warm. Um, it's warm, but it's not like dangerously hot. Um, so that's, I mean, it's just warm. So this performed way better. I'm sorry, I cannot do this camera angle. This performed way better than I expected in terms of a color change. Interesting, very interesting. Okay. 
And what's really cool also is it's staying like that for a pretty long time. So it's a color change that kind of lasts for a while. And that's really, really cool. Um, having said that, based on the amount of hair, and look, this thing is stuck in her head, based on the amount of hair and the fashions, I don't know how important it was to include that element of color change to the tail. And I almost wished that instead of going with that technology, they had gone with um, something different, either maybe like a better quality hair, because they have so much hair, or maybe just making the bottom like more substantial um, because they are very top heavy. But it's pretty cool. And watching it change back is, is really interesting. Um, it's pretty cool in here today. It's in the 40s outside, so it's probably like 60 to 65 here in the studio, but it's not like going immediately back to dark blue. So that's pretty cool. That is um, different than what I expected, quite honestly. I thought it would just go right back, but it's taken its sweet time, which is pretty neat. And look, the tail's coming back. I think this is, it's cool. I'm not sure it was needed, but it is cool, but not sure that we needed it. So uh, Riviera is available now on Amazon. I will put a link down below. It will be an affiliate link. So if you use it, I'll get a little bore, a little bore, a little bit of money uh, so that I can buy more dolls. Thank you so much. Um, I absolutely love dolls and I really do love Riviera. And a big part of why I love Riviera, honestly, is her face and then her aesthetic. I have seen people rebodying the dolls onto made to move bodies. Um, people have put them on monster high bodies, mostly monster high bodies actually. I haven't seen them do made to move. So it's interesting. And I think that's a good thing for um, the folks at MGA to note that there, there is a, a desire for dolls of this size with this kind of fashion, but with legs. <laughs> Not tails, legs. That would be really good. We could go for some legs, right, Riviera? You know, maybe the option to have legs would be good. I mean, I love, cause she's got like sparkle on her face. Her eye makeup is so pretty. She's got that MC squared eyes, which is so pretty. I forgot to tell you, the eyelashes are rooted. You know me and a rooted eyelash man. I mean, I really, really love the faces. And um, I don't mind that they're mermaids. I don't mind, it's cool. It's a cool look, it is. Overall, it's cool. And the massive amounts of hair is probably really cool if you're a kid. And you know, it's probably less annoying if you're not trying to do an unboxing video. <laughs> so those are my thoughts on Riviera and, and MGA's mermaids, mermaids line and I do have one, two, three, four, four more of these. Wow. So there will be more mermaid videos to come. Unfortunately, I already took down my, my tropical beachy backdrop. So sorry. And I'm not mermaid wigging for this, but maybe for another one. We don't know. We've got four dolls. You never know what I might feel like doing. And I am getting my hair cut on Wednesday. Um, you're like, cut? What are you getting cut? Like, uh. um, and I thought you were growing it out. Yes. Yes. If you know me, you know that every year I say, I'm going to grow out my hair. And then every year it gets to about this point And I'm like, I need a haircut. I need a haircut. I love you guys very much. Please stay well. Please take care of yourselves. Give yourself grace. Give people all around you a little leeway. We're all a little tense right now. And, um, you know, just whip your hair back and forth. <laughs> I love you guys so much. Please stay well. Get your hair out of your eyes, girl. And we'll see you again real soon. Bye.